everybody say hi to Bog. We're gonna do a frog fishing setup deal because I think this is important. You know, I run two different rods depending on what I'm fishing. Today we're fishing like semi sparse cover, but it does get a little thick in parts. I'm gonna fish braid across the board. I'm gonna fish a high speed reel, either an 821, which I actually don't, I only have one. So I just run the 721s, so they're fast enough for me. But what's really important is, when you're fishing semi open water and you're really trying to walk that frog, having a rod that has a little more like fast tip, like a little more reactive tip is important. Excuse me, Bob, we gotta show them this real quick. Get, 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 get. So I'm running this Kryptonite. It's a 7.2 um, medium heavy. So it's a little bit lighter rod, but it gives me enough beef to get things out. But it's basically a fast action rod. That means the tip bends pretty quickly. Like it does, it's not that moderate bend that we talk about all the time. It's a pretty quick bend. And what that does is when you're going ch -ch 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 -ch, and you're walking that frog, say through some of this kind of like scum pollen or something like that, like I get really good reaction from the frog. Like it walks like a spook, you know, it's back and forth, back and forth. And I can walk it in place because the rod tips a little bit softer. So I can almost keep it in place and just turn it back and forth, back and forth and grab it. Cause it's important. Cause I think they actually like, they'll sit under it and when you're going ch -ch -ch, and then you let it sit, they like look at it and then you let it sit and you go ch and then they crush it. I'm sure you've had that kind of experience. But the trick is that when I'm going to say Gunnersville, when I'm fishing like Okeechobee, when I'm fishing grass lakes, heavy cover lakes, and not so much wood. Wood, you can get away with a little lighter rod and sometimes you're better off doing that. But really it's grass lakes, hydrilla pads, stuff like that. I'll run, I have it actually set up with a flipping setup, but this is a 7-2 Rave. Um, the difference is this is a heavy action rod. And the other thing is it has a more moderate bend to it. So it kind of like bends more through the rod. Do you see that? Hopefully I don't break it. That would be awesomely dutiful. The Rave is a little bit cheaper rod too. Um, it's it's not nearly as like the, the high density um, graphite that you find in, the, in that kryptonite. And the reason I like that is it loads up better. It's got a ton of backbone, but that moderate bend loads up better because oftentimes you're, you're just gonna kind of like drag them in. They're almost gonna pin themselves. They're gonna get stuck in a bunch of junk and you don't really need that super fast tip. And I think in the grass, you can pull it away from them. I always talk about, and we talked about it in this video, just like holding off don't set the hook well with that more moderate bend especially in that thick cover you really don't set the hook and it gives you kind of a little more leeway to sort of feel for them even though you're using that heavy action rod but those are my two setups i'll run 30 to 40 pound braid on this lighter kryptonite setup nice ski right <laughs> unbelievable dude some of the things i find in the lake are insane but i'll run 30 to 40 pound braid on that lighter setup on the heavier setup i will run 50. a lot of guys run 65. 50 gives me castability and a lot more control a little more heartache you know when you hook up with like a eight pounder in the freaking high drill or in the in the scum and all that but it does hold up just keep retying your knots and pay attention to any kind of nicks in the line and on both of them i am going to run power pro straight old school green power pro the reason i like it is i don't really have to worry about the sound i know it makes sound when i'm flipping and it's rubbing against stuff but in this situation i don't really have to worry about the sound because it's not grinding against anything and it's super durable even wood vegetation you name it, it it's going to take a beating and hold up